Are you a fan of steel wool? Man, I got to tell you, I cook with stainless steel um, cookware, uh-huh, right? Uh-huh. I just think it's the most healthy thing to use. And there really is no other way to get it super clean except by using steel wool. So, yes, I love it. And, and, and when Like I a was, Brillo pad kind of a thing? Yeah, like, like a Brillo pad. And, but when I was cleaning the pot the other night, I was thinking, man, there's so much to do with steel wool. Like it, It's one of those things like duct tape. Mm-hmm. There's like a thousand uses for it, and you kind of you forget until you realize that you need it. Don't what, throw it out. What can I do with this that you know I didn't think was possible before? So if know? it isn't too gross from your cleaning out the pan, maybe you rinse it, and there's more things to Man, do. You got that right. There's so much. For example, oh Thank wait a minute, you're Eric Stromer, oh, yeah, I'm Eric Stromer and I'm Cindy, Cindy Dole, Dole, and this yeah, is Home Wizards. But what what would you do first if you well, didn't well, just clean a pan? Well, my Let's second. Do. Most favorite favorite thing to do when when it comes to steel wool, and it's actually not a very pleasant topic, but there's really nothing else that keeps vermin out of your home Ooh. or bats. When I had a summer place up in mm-hmm. northern Wisconsin, the only thing you know that the old guy, Mister Mister Ames, used to tell us, you know, yeah, you want bats to stay out of the house. The only way to do it is have them fly out at dusk, and before they come back at night, you got to plug that hole with steel wool <laughs> and that's it because really? they can't chew through steel wool right ew so th- it's it's really effective if you find if Wait, you the do, rats can't steal bats can't rats chew, cannot really? chew through the steel wool no no because you know those rats their teeth that's all they have to, they, to live they, got, they have to let chew me, let all me hear the rats out again that's it and they and they, they do that and they do long. that on steel what's it sound like yep that's it See? It's just it's terrible. It, it's bad. So you just wad up the steel sound wool. effects, by the way. Thank you very, very <laughs> for a round of applause. No. <laughs> so what you do is you just plug those little holes. You you always want to do, especially spring. It's a good time right now to mm. walk around the perimeter of your home and just take a look and get down, sort of on your hands and knees just and certain plug areas, that hole and, and, with them steel and look for areas where you know nickel size openings. That's Don't all they forget need. they just need the size of a nickel to get through their bodies. They're through. like magicians. They just they kinda... are like crazy circus performers yeah. they can get through anything so really <laughs> you plug you plug all those holes with steel wool and if you want to take it to the next level you you put a little spray foam oh, and steel wool together uh-huh and then you've really some of that got dow the, stuff yes. that kind of goes in there and puffs up and isn't that great so we need to basically load up on steel wool because oh, there's no question it's going to help us well also you can apparently start a fire with this isn't that amazing yeah i mean i guess the whole idea is you would touch the the terminals of a nine volt battery to the wad of steel wool to make a campfire. Oh my goodness! Isn't that kind of That's like really cool? Talk about feeling like you're Mr. Hero there. Yeah, I, don't don't worry. Anybody doesn't MacGyver. have kindling. I've got some steel wool in my bag. <laughs> I want to hear that for your summer story next time. I know, right? I think that sounds really cool. Now, now of course, steel wool is used all the time in in woodworking and and uh, you know wood finishes. You know, mm. you use it to apply brie wax, for example. You use it to remove old paint. Paint. You use it to kind of distress items that you already have. Oh, it's, it's a great thing for that look. Huh? Yeah, for that 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 specific look. That kind antiqued of, kind of look. It gives you that ebonizing stain. You can do the you know the vinegar and in, in the jelly jar kind of look, and it, you know all those different finishes. You you've got to apply it with some kind of a of a of a product. And steel wool is obviously the the it's the pro choice. It's hmm. what everybody uses. Hmm. Yeah. What what would you do in terms of like using it for a tool around the house? Like, well, you know? you, you're you're preaching to the choir oh. here now. Yeah. For example, if you've got an, an old uh, screw that's in a hole that you can't get out, you can. I've use... had that all the time. Like it's mushed all the way that's into the wall. That's right. And like the, somehow the hole has gotten so big, but the head of it is like it's it's caving into the the wall. You can just kind of shove the steel wool into that hole slightly. And, and try and work it, and it kind of grips the screw head. Really? Yeah, and it's a way to kind of just start to move it and get a little further out so you can get your screwdriver. Now, should we wear gloves? Because sometimes that those little well, steel it, threads can hurt. It depends on the size of the steel wool. I mean, you know, you've got the number one all the way on up to the, the most aggressive feel that it mm. has. So it just depends. If, you're, if your hands are... Are Gentle. sensitive, then you may want to wear. You just the had your mani pedi, you know. Then you don't want to use it exactly. <laughs> uh, in terms of garden tools, you know, yeah. if you need to get the rust off the tools, the steel wool's the answer. Just kind of scrub off that rust back and forth with the shovel or anything that you're using as you're getting your tools out for spring gardening tasks. Then go uh-huh. ahead and grab that steel wool and make it happen. Now I've heard this is also really good for um, like if we have vinyl flooring in one of our areas of the home, and sometimes you'll get little you know heel marks, little black nicks sure. on the floor. And if you use this with a little bit of water, it just kind of makes those 
marks go oh, right away. Oh, absolutely. It just Goodbye. Takes it away. Same thing with crayons. Like if your kid, which my kids do, they draw on the walls for some reason. I think I'm raising graffiti artists. <laughs> but if you've got crayons on walls, a little bit of steel wool, and and just any kind of a, a solvent or cleaner that you would normally use, it the agitation will take the wax right off the wall. Love it. Perfect. Scissors, they're dull. Guess what? Run the steel wool along the the blades of the scissors back and forth a couple of times, sharpens them up, sharpens them up right away. Perfect, works well. I'm telling you, there's there's nothing, nothing but things to do with this steel. Can wool. we use this for our <laughs> stainless steel appliances? Yes, though? I don't know. Of course. See, I if I, it's a fine enough grit. Really? Yeah. It it if you go, I you know, when nervous. when you're it's cleaning so... stainless steel, by the yeah. way, you're gonna want to go along the. There's a. Uh, uh, you Go know, with the grain. The grain with exactly. The... There's a grain to the steel wool. Uh-huh. I mean, to the stainless. Right, right, right. So right. the the uh, I've seen these guys come out and do it. Who who repair this stuff? They'll use the steel wool. So you pay them 150 bucks, and, and all they do is they, they do? The stainless they, they come out with a <laughs> wad of steel wool. Oh my gosh. And a, some steel wool cleaner, and they rub it, you know, back and forth, and it looks brand new, and the scratch is gone, and you're like, what? 100 bucks? Come on. Would you use like some oil with that? Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah you use the uh, it's stainless steel cleaning oil, basically, is what it is, and it just kind of it's it's how they get the grain in the in the metal in the first place because i have just really, roughing up metal. i have a severe scratch on our oven right now should i try that i don't know why you wouldn't as long as you go with the grain so this is better than and what'll happen too is that you may start to see that the, you may have to do the whole piece because it doesn't it kind of give it like almost like a not a shine but what do you call it like a flashing effect it'll, yeah right? it'll, it'll change the look the of color. it so that's why when you do these repairs you gotta you're, go you're generally doing the whole, the whole panel thing. yeah uh-huh. otherwise it's like spot. look at me that's where you repair it's that. the shiny area where the scratch <laughs> used to be exactly okay yeah and in terms of like selecting steel wool, I mean, I guess it just depends what we're going to be using it for. I mean, we're not just, are we going just, just to our kitchen supply section and loading up on more yeah. of those? Yeah, let, me, let or, me tell you how it works. Yeah. So you've got, you've got these, these gradations. So it's like from one, two, three, you got zero, you got double zero, so on and so forth. So one is like a medium. That's for rust removal, cleaning glaze tiles, removing marks from wood floors with paint or varnish remover, that kind of a thing. That's mm-hmm. really intense, right? Mm-hmm. Number two would be like a medium coarse, scratches from brass, paint spots on ceramic tile again, that kind of a thing. Number three, paint and varnish removal, removing paint spots from resilient floors. Then you go into the zero, that's brass finishes, you know, that's cleaning tile. Again, it's uh, stubborn finishes that you want to take off. Uh, double zero was like if you're using linseed oil and, and you're going to do something like a high gloss finish then you would use that to apply mm. it right mm-hmm. that's a little a little less intense uh triple zeros removing paint spots from sta- or stains from wood cleaning polished metals rubbing between finished coats like for example if you're painting uh or lacquering something and you let it dry you can use steel wool to kind of take all the little burrs off the paint and then clean mm-hmm. that off and then do a second coat so that's that's the reason for that and then number f- uh, double zero or quadruple zero, 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 zero. That's like a final finish. Very, very slight. You just want to rough it up very, almost buffing it. That's mm. what you're using. A lot of times the steel wool repair, they'll do it in gradation starting from a little more intense and then work their way back to the quad zero to make it really sort of smooth and easy. Boy, it sounds really kind of sophisticated. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of complex. There's a lot to it. <laughs> a lot to it, but so much you can do with it. Well, and don't forget your tennis shoes because you I know t- oh, your man. Converse shoes are always looking really good. But if you have those other old sneakers that you have just kind of for like, you know, around the house or whatever, you can basically moisten the steel wood, right, and get the stains. Right off the side off of the that shoe. rubber that That's, looks How do you icky. clean it otherwise? That's Otherwise it. you're thinking, God, you know, they look all kind of brown, I you know. know. It's, I, it's, when, it's, that, when that rubber trim doesn't stay white anymore. I mean, I've tried bleach. I've even tried putting it in the washing machine. But sometimes it reaches a point where you go, you know what, I'm just going to ditch these things. That's but when, don't. You don't have to. You don't have to buy new shoes when you can do it with the steel wool. You see what I'm saying? It's it's overwhelming, isn't it? <laughs> it's like the duct tape in my life, the steel wool's second only to the duct tape. And I guess, don't forget, if you have a motorcycle, you can also use this, what well, you can pack the muffler can with stainless number three. Yeah. And, ter- and cut the noise. You can, you know those big, loud Harleys? Nobody yeah. ever wants to do it. They want to make them louder. But if you're someone that's sensitive to your neighbors, you can do it that way with steel wool. 
I Man. know, I know. I felt the same way when I first realized And what about this. like reviving aluminum? Like if the storm windows, you know, bringing them back to that original shine, you can buff it with the steel wool? Yeah, anything that's metal, you know, and anything that you want to have sort of an, an even finish on, that's how you do it. You use some kind of an abrasive pad, and in this case, steel wool works wonders. And don't forget, there's so many different grades of it, you want to make sure that you know which one you need for extra what purpose. Extra coarse or yep. extra sensitive, super go. fine. We'll put this on the website, by the way, so you can kind of uh, kind of figure out your strategy with unlimited purpose yeah. of the stainless uh, steel wool. Anyway, when we come back, we have some fun things to talk about. Uh, Eric Stormer, Cindy Dole, you keep it right here because we love to improve your home and improve your life.